I'm a massive fan of yours. And I first, like a lot of people, I first saw you on The Walking Dead. And that's when you started coming on the show. And you just pop on the screen. You're so authentic. You're so, and, and, and you have such power as an actor. And it surprised me when I learned later on, you didn't figure that out that you had this, that acting was a possibility till a little later in the game. You were in college, right? Yeah, yeah. It was, it, uh, you know, there just wasn't really anything kind of around me growing up that 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 made me you know I had nobody really in my life that 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 did it and right. and um you know I don't know I think now you know being a dad and seeing seeing my kids and and you, you know my kids like to play with action figures a lot and, right. and and I saw I saw my oldest son Henry the other day kind of doing I used to do that a lot I used to play these little games and act out parts and and uh so I guess I was doing a lot of that I think I had a pretty wild imagination but yeah no 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 real no, no real window into. Didn't do a lot of youth theater. That's for sure. Yeah. Right. Well, you were very heavily into, yeah, you know, boxing. I was, yeah, I was age. into uh, some and martial arts and some boxing, a lot of sports, baseball, football, and and just I was just kind of a knucklehead. I just kind of w- was was getting into trouble left and right, and really kind of lost. Honestly, I had really good friends, but. Um, yeah, I, 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 I think I lacked I think I lacked direction. So you feel like it could have gone badly for you 100%. but you but but you got off on the wrong exit or you took the right turn and that got you into acting. Yeah, look, I mean, I, 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 I met a woman. Uh, I, I was blessed to meet a woman in in, in college. Uh, I took a uh, an acting class literally by accident. Um, I thought I was signing up to intro to theater, which was going to be 150 people in a big theater. I thought I could maybe drop acid and watch movies. That's what I heard. That was the word on the street. Uh, but I ended up like, being the complete. I took so many courses because of that. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So, but being the shit bag that I was, I ended up, uh, you know, in this small intro to acting class with very serious you know acting majors and 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 kids who really took it seriously and I'd never really been around kids like that before and um you know there was an exercise that 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 we had to talk about uh we had to bring in something that was really important to to us and share it with the class like a game of show and tell on steroids and 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 the level of emotion that these kids had sharing these objects i just couldn't believe it going on for 10 minutes about you know some corn cob pipe that their pap pap had given them or, right, or, or right, you know some, right. some blues traveler cd that their boyfriend had given them and then it got to me and i forgot i, I just didn't have anything i i totally you know as 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 always just totally botched the assignment so i just grabbed my catcher's glove before i was going to baseball practice and I launched into this story about how my, my mom had died and she gave me this glove on her deathbed and my mom is totally alive and well <laughs> in DC. Oh and, 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 and as I was telling the story I'm like crying my freaking wow. eyes out and everybody in the room is, is crying their eyes out I'm like whoa 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 hang on y'all I'm just I'm just doing the acting I, I, I like that I don't and this woman Alma Becker I, I have her tattooed here she 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 cleared the class out and like ripped me apart for violating the sanctity of her studio but then she was like you know you, you you've got something and your punishment is you gotta you gotta audition audition for this this play that I'm directing and that was my first show and then after you know I didn't finish school I got in some some pretty big trouble and Alma came to me again and and she said look if you really want to do this I'll get you an audition to to go to Moscow and uh, the Moscow Art Theater and that's the reason why I went out there and she really she 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 really saved my life and and ended up marrying my wife and I and I mean it's a true testament to I, I just think that the, the power of, of educators and teachers and believing in somebody, especially somebody who's lost and, and, and who has no real great talent or no, you know, I could fight a little bit. I could, I could play a little bit of sports, but I wasn't going to do anything special with them. But she saw something in me and, and, and she jumped on it. I think now as a parent, I'm even more, I, there's this new profound kind of, Understanding or, or, or gratitude that, that that I have for her and for teachers in general who who do that, and I just I hope that these people you know come into my kids' lives. You know they will. I mean that's the other thing too is I my reflect on my life, especially starting out. I'm very aware that it's not just one person. It's kind of like what you're describing. There's several key people along the way. Sure. To me, it's it's there's you know because I grew up in Boston and nobody, I didn't know anybody in show business. I mean, and I used to be interested in it and really love watching uh, comedies and comedians and the classics. But I had, if someone had said, oh, you could do that for a living, I'd have said, what do you, how? There's no way to do that. I don't come from that. So I had plotted a completely different course. And, but if I look at it now, there are key 
people. There's like sure. someone, you know, in high school who really made a difference. But then there's someone really key my freshman year in college who encouraged me. And then I can just see this whole arc of people telling me this is the way to go. Follow follow this and that this connection thing. that connection from loving it and then doing it yourself do you yes. is there is there a key moment for you was that a was that moment full of, of fright or trepidation you yes oh, sort of take oh, that oh total fear i mean i used to i there was a lot of different levels to it but the first was um learning that when i wrote that i could write things that would mm. make people laugh mm. and i did that and so i thought okay i can do this i can write things that make people laugh but then i realized that one of the ways that i wrote was to act things out in front of people right. and they would say no 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 do that and i w and um that i could make my friends laugh and my way of writing a lot was to act something out and so they would say right so if you just did that yourself <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it took <clears throat> it took a lot of a, you know it, it took a lot of uh, making mistakes uh, and uh, getting my ass handed to me many times in many different ways. But um, it really was when I look back on the whole thing. I call it Google Earth. If you zoom out and look at your life sure. and you can see the whole area, <clears throat> I can see. Oh wow! Like. There's like, along the way, there's maybe 15 different people that That's at right. crucial moments, it's like a pinball, they knock it towards the right direction. That's right. You know, it's like a little flipper that gets me going the right way. And then I start to I start to wander off and another little flipper just gets me going in the right direction again. That's so right. I, that's why I, <clears throat> I think great humility, I like people that are humble because you understand how much you relied on other people. And, and as you know, being in this business, and I'm not just talking about our business uh, uh, of show, the business of show, no. I think is what uh, Sammy Davis Jr. called it. Um, I'm not just talking about that, I'm talking about you see people in finance, you see people who have achieved things and they have money and they have status, and they think that they did it all. It's crazy. And yeah. it makes that makes me insane. And I meet them all the time. You know, you meet those people all the time, and they're like, "Well, I have this nice car because mm -hmm. I am who I am, and I made it happen." Because I'm like, great. No, yeah, and it's like, no, 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 no. You, you do not understand how incredibly fortunate you were For sure. many different times. For sure. And I think the fact is, is that um, I don't know what I love m most about this is is uh, how often you fail, and and how often you don't know what the hell you're doing, and how how terrified you are before something starts, and and I think. You know, embracing that and diving into that is 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 uh, at least for me that's 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 something that I I I, I try to do. Um, but I'm also really really aware that this could have gone either way so many times, and I think the the humility of 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 understanding that it's really the the, the buoys along the path. It's these great people that led you this way or this way. If if, if you're not really aware of that, you're not going to see them you know, as you keep going. And, and, and for me, it's not just um, the great teachers that I had in Russia or those great coaches that I had. I mean, my, my best friend, Dougie Thornell, we grew up watching movies together. That's what we did. And we would sneak into Goodfellas and watch it over and over again. We snuck into the Sounds of the Lambs, watched it over and over again. And it was so long, so long. I mean, decades before I'd ever be able to you know, sort of exercise those kinds of muscles as an artist. I mean, my first five, 10 years, I was a tree or I was, you know, I was these old sort of avant-garde, you know, Bertolt Brecht characters that had nothing to do with the stuff that I was raised on. But it was always, I still to this day, anything I do, I try to take it back to the Dougie Thornell test. The two of us sitting on his couch used to duct tape the, the, the remote control to a ping pong ta uh, paddle and, and, and he would laugh his ass off at stuff and he would, and I'm like, would this make Dougie laugh? You know, what would this do to Dougie? And right. it's, it's a huge, it's a huge part of everything that I do. And I, I want to, I want to find the next person and you never know who that person's going to be. And it's oftentimes, I think, not the genius that we think we're going to cross. It's this, this person that comes into our life and if our, our, our hearts are open, our eyes are open, we'll see it.